The history of the trench coat is really as a, as a functional piece. It was designed for wartime, um, hence it has all the things uh, like the gun flaps, the storm flaps, the, uh, the beautiful D-rings on the belts. Um, everything was designed for a reason with the trench coat, which is why I think it's so beautiful and which is why I think it's become a design classic. I wear different trench coats and I prefer to wear it open rather than closed and I kind of fasten my belt at the back. I prefer to kind of make it feel easy, you know, it's um, a bit more relaxed. Um, you know, I, I kind of in general don't like things too buttoned up. Um, but what I like about uh, the trench coat is you can wear it with everything. You can wear it, you know, if you're quite smart and a little bit more formal, or you can wear it with jeans and a t-shirt. Um, and I, I don't know, it just is one of those pieces that, that just manages to, to kind of feel right with, with every, every environment that, that you're in. I think everybody finds their own way of wearing their trench coat. You know, I, I kind of, in general, prefer um, it to be kind of the belt to be kind of tied rather than kind of buckled. Um, I love it when the collar is up, but I also kind of love it when you see these formal city guys wearing it all completely fastened up and buckled in a much more sartorial way. So I think there's so many different ways of wearing it and I think you have to find your, your own personality with it. I think it works so well for different environments, for different people, because it wasn't designed as a, as a fashion piece. It wasn't designed in a seasonal way. It was designed to work.